Okay, welcome to CS235, Applied Robot Design for Non-Robot Designers. This is a little teaser for Lab 3. This is what each of the students will be building. And uh, what this is, is a cable transmission to a rigid linkage to a remote center of motion. So this is kind of like a double parallelogram. And uh, what I mean by remote center of motion is the tip of this arrow isn't moving. It's rotating, but it's not moving. Um, and so... For medical robotics, we could have this as uh, the port for uh, laparoscopic surgery, or we could do ophthalmic surgery and have this the surface of the cornea, or, uh, sorry, the pupil. Um, or for my research, which is robotic IV insertion, we would have this be the surface of the hand. So as I rotate, uh, the angle of my capstan is the same as the angle of this end effector. This little bob here is a gravity counterbalance so that it doesn't fall over and the slot means it's adjustable. So I can move this around. This would be for a lesser payload, this would be for a bigger payload. And so you can see, this is too heavy right in this configuration. And so you can see it just falls back. But we could make this heavier and then this would be balanced. So it's on a slot so that we can just adjust it dynamically. And so any position I put it in, any configuration, is perfectly balanced. And this means we can use a smaller motor. And also, in the event of power shutdown, we're safe. And there's a cable transmission here. So I can drive the shaft from reverse. The uh, end of travel is when these two bars touch each other, like that. Okay, so let's zoom in on this uh, cable transmission. We start with a uh, crimp here, and then the stainless steel cable goes underneath the stacks of wood. There's a flange that helps with assembly. The cable comes down around here, and then loops four times around um, this steel drive shaft. And then we come back on the other side, follow the cable, and then the cable goes into the wood here, we obey the minimum bend radius, of course. Then we terminate on this uh, black delrin nut, which is threaded. And then as the screw turns, this nut moves to the left, tightening the cable. And so now, um, let me show you what it looks like as we move. So I'm spinning the drive shaft from behind. So this is the remote center of motion. You can see I didn't put it too close in case it actually did move, but it doesn't. As you can see the tip of that arrow is never moving away from the tip of the drill bit. Okay, so this is the CAD model that the students will be creating and submitting as part of their Lab 3 before they start actually making the prototype. We can zoom in here on the cable cap stand. This is the tensioning system with the uh, black delrin nut that's threaded for this tensioning screw. And this is the little area where the crimp goes. And see how the cable enters and exits both sides of the cap stand. We can turn the model around. And the real test for uh, the student CAD submissions in terms of whether or not they did it correctly is if I can drag this uh, CAD model and it behaves exactly as it does on the real world prototype. So that remote center of motion should be stationary and it should drag um, naturally.